Hi guys, I'm Sham from websitelearners.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can add an email subscription form to your WordPress website. Now let's say you have a website and you want to collect the emails of your visitors. You can do that by adding an email subscription form to your website. Now once you add this form, if a person visits your site and enters their email address, you will get that email and you'll be able to send emails to this person. So after watching this video, you'll be able to add subscription forms to your website like this. And once your visitor enters their email address and click subscribe, they'll be subscribed to your website and we are going to see how you can send emails to your subscribers. And at the end of this video, we also have a bonus feature where we see how you can show a form when a visitor tries to leave your website. So make sure you watch this video till the end to learn how to do it. So let's get started. We are going to add our email subscription form in just five steps. The first step is to create an account in Convertful. So to create an account in Convertful, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this page. Now this is the website which is going to help us create our email subscription form. So to create the account, let's click try free. And then select this plan, which is free. Now to create the account, enter your email address in this field. And click create free account. And now Convertful will send a verification code to your email address. So to get the code, let's go to our inbox. And then open the mail. Now copy this code and paste it here. Then click verify. Now to complete creating your account, just fill up these details and click continue. So now we have successfully created our account in Convertful. So once you have created your account, you can now go to step two, which is to add your site to this account. So to add your site, enter your domain name in this field, and then choose the platform as WordPress. Then click add site. So now your site will be successfully added to your Convertful account. So once you have added your site, you can now go to step three, which is to connect this account with your WordPress website. So once you connect Convertful with WordPress, you'll be able to add the email subscription form to your website. So to connect it, we are going to install a plugin in WordPress. So to install the plugin, let's go to our WordPress dashboard and then go to plugins and click add new. Now search for a plugin called Convertful. And you'll get this plugin. Now this is the plugin which is going to help us connect our Convertful account with WordPress. So to install the plugin, let's click install. And click activate. So now the plugin has been installed. Now to connect Convertful with WordPress, just click connect to Convertful and it will take you to this page. And now if you click approve, your Convertful account will be successfully connected to WordPress. So once you have connected your Convertful account with WordPress, you can now go to step four, which is to add the email subscription form to your website. So to add the email subscription form, first you need to select the form which you want to add to your website. So to select the form, let's click create widget. And you will get this page where you have different types of forms you can add to your website. Now, if you want to add a pop-up form like this on your website, just click pop-ups. And you'll find different types of pop-up forms which you can add to your site. So just have a look at these forms and select the one you like. So now if you click on a form, 
you can see a preview of how it'll look on your website. I'm going to select this one. Now to select this form, just click create pop-up. And as you can see, we have got the form. Now once you've got the form, next we are going to see how you can edit this form. So let's say you want to change this image. All you have to do is just click it. And then go here and click change. Now drag and drop an image from your computer. And as you can see, the image has been changed. Now if you want to change this text, just click it. And then go here. And then enter your text. And your text will be changed. So in the same way, you can change any text in your form. Now if you want to change the text on this button, just click it. And then enter your text here. And the text will be changed. So this is how you can edit your form. Next, let's go to the final step of adding the form to your website, which is to choose when you want to display your form on the website. So to choose when you want to display the form, let's go to display rules. And here you can see different options for displaying your form. Let's say you want to display your form when a visitor scrolls down. Then you need to enable this option. Now once you have selected when you want to display your form, to add the form to your website, just click save changes. And then enable this button. Now as soon as you enable it, your email subscription form will be added to your website. So to check that, let's go to our website. And now if you scroll down, you can see that we have got our form. So now we have successfully added our email subscription form to our website. And now your visitors can subscribe to your website using this form. So next, let's see how this form works. Let's say a visitor enters their name and email address. And now if they click subscribe, they'll be successfully subscribed to your website. And now if you go to your Convertful account and go to subscribers, you can see that we have got our subscribers email address here. So this is how the email subscription form works. So once you've got your subscribers email address, how do you send an email to these subscribers? Now since Convertful only takes care of displaying the form on your website, it cannot send emails by itself. So in order to send emails, Convertful needs an email provider which can send emails. So next let's go to the second part of this tutorial where we see how you can send emails to your subscribers. So to send an email to your subscriber, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to create an account in MailChimp. Now MailChimp is the email provider which is going to let us send emails to our subscribers. So to create an account on MailChimp, let's open a new tab and then go to MailChimp.com and press enter. Now click sign up free and then fill in these details. and click get started. Now as you can see, MailChimp gives us a free plan where we can have up to 2000 subscribers. So let's select it and then click complete. Now to finish creating your account, you need to enter these details. So first enter your website name here and then you need to enter your website's URL. So let's go to our website and then copy this link and paste it here. Then click continue. And now we have successfully created our MailChimp account. Now once you have created your MailChimp account, how do you connect it with Convertful? So next, let's go to step two of sending emails to your subscribers, which is to connect this account with Convertful. So to connect MailChimp with Convertful, let's go to our Convertful account, then go to integrations, and click add integration. 
Now select MailChimp from here and click Connect. Now to connect Convertful with MailChimp, you need to log into your MailChimp account. So just enter your username and password and click Login. And now we have successfully connected our MailChimp account with Convertful. Once you've connected your MailChimp account with Convertful, let's go to the third step, which is to disable the confirmation email for your subscribers. Now by default, if a visitor subscribes to your site, they will receive an email like this. Now only when they click confirm, they'll be subscribed to your email list. Now to avoid this confirmation email and subscribe immediately after they click subscribe, you need to disable this option here. So let's disable this and click save changes. So now we have successfully disabled the confirmation email and we have connected MailChimp with Convertful. So now we can start sending emails to our subscribers. Now before we send the email, let's try subscribing to our website again and see how it works. So to subscribe again, let's go to our website. Now scroll down to get the form. Now let's enter our details. And click subscribe. Okay, so now we should be subscribed. So now if you go to MailChimp and go to audience and click view contacts, you can see that we have got the email and name which we just entered. Now previously we got these details in Convertful. Now as we have connected MailChimp to Convertful, we can now get it here. So this means we can now start sending emails to our subscribers. So let's go to the final step where we see how you can send emails to your subscribers. Now to send an email to your subscribers, first you need to create the email. So to create the email, let's click create and then select email. Now enter any name for your email. I'm going to enter my first mail and then click begin. And now it'll take you to this page. Now to send the mail, first you need to choose your subscribers. So just click add recipients and then click here and choose your subscriber list. Now click save. So now we have selected our subscribers. Now to enter the subject line for your email, just click add subject and then enter your subject line and click save. Okay, so once you've entered these details, we can now start designing the email. So to design the mail, just click design email and you can find different types of email designs which you can use to create your email. Now, if you go to themes, you can find even more designs for your email. Now have a look at these designs and select the design which you like. I'm going to choose this design and you'll be taken to this page where you can edit the email. Now let's say you want to change this text. All you have to do is just go here and then click this pencil icon. And now you can change the text here. So let me type start shopping. And as you can see, the text has been changed. So the same way you can change any text on this email. Now once you're done creating the mail, just click save to save the email and the email will be saved. Now to send this email, all you have to do is just click send. And now if you click send now, the email will be sent to all of your subscribers. So next let's see how your subscribers will receive your email. So now if the subscriber goes to their inbox and clicks refresh, you can see that we have got the mail. And now if you open it, 
you can see the mail which we designed. So now you know how you can send emails to your subscribers. Now once you've sent the mail, how do you know whether someone has opened the mail or not? So next let's see how you can check the performance of your email. So to see how your email performed, just go to MailChimp and then go to reports. Now here you can see the mail which we just sent. Now if we click view report, we can see how many people opened the email and we can also see how many people clicked on a link on that email. So this is how you can see the performance of your email. So next let's go to the final part of this tutorial where we see how you can add the subscription form to different places on your website. Now previously we saw how you can add a pop-up form. Next we are going to add our subscription form to two different places on your website. So first we are going to add the form below our blog post like this. To add the form below our blog post, we need to create another email subscription form on Convertful. So to create the form, let's go to Convertful and then click Widgets. Now here you can see the pop-up form which we created before. Now to create a new form, let's click Create Widget. Now in this list, instead of pop-up, let's choose Inline Widgets. And now you can choose the form which you want to add below your blog post. So I'm going to choose this one and then click create. Now again, it will take you to the place where you can edit your form. Now like we did before, if you want to edit the form, you can just click here and then edit the form from here. So once you have edited the form, to add the form to your website, just go to display rules. Now as we want to add the form below our blog post, let's select after the post content. And now the form will be displayed below our blog post. Now to add the form to our website, let's click save changes. And then enable this button. So now the form should be added on our website. So now if you go to our website, and then scroll down and click refresh. You can see that we have got the new email subscription form. So this is how you can add a subscription form below your blog post. Okay. So next let's see how you can add the subscription form to another place of your website. So now we are going to see how you can add the subscription form on the sidebar of your website. Now to add the form here, let's go to convert full. Now like we did before, let's create a new form by clicking create widget. Now again go to inline widgets and then choose the form which you want to add on your sidebar. So I'm going to choose this one, then click create and the form will be created. Now to add this form on your sidebar, Let's go to display rules. Now since we want to display this form on our sidebar, we need to add this code on our WordPress site. So to add this code to WordPress, first let's copy it. And once you have copied the code, to paste the code, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. And then go to appearance. And click widgets. Now here you can see the sidebar area where we need to add the code. Now to add the code here, first let's drag this text widget and then drop it into the sidebar area. And now you'll get this box where you can paste the code. So let's right click and paste the code here. Now once you have pasted the code, just click save. And now the code has been added. Now to enable the form on our website, let's go back to Convertful. Let's click Save Changes and then enable this button. And now the form will be added to our sidebar. So now if we go to our website, 
and click refresh. You can see that we have got the form on our sidebar. So this is how you can add the subscription form to the sidebar of your website. So now you know how you can add a subscription form to your sidebar and below your blog post. So next let's go to the bonus part of this tutorial where we see how you can get more subscribers to your website. So how do you get more subscribers? So you can get more subscribers by offering a free download when people subscribe to your website. So let's see how it's going to look. So here it is. After completing this step, you'll be able to add a pop-up form like this. And when your visitors try to download the book, it'll ask them to enter their email address. And when they click get, they'll be subscribed and they'll also be able to download the file. So now if we click here, we can now see the PDF book. So by giving a free download like this, you can encourage more of your visitors to subscribe to your website. So next let's see how we can add a form like this with a free download. So to add this form, let's go to convert full and then click create widget. Now select pop-ups and now you can choose any pop-up from here. I'm going to choose this one and then click create. And now it'll take you to the editing section where you can edit the form. Now let's change this image. Just click it. And then go here and click change. Now drag and drop an image from your computer. And as you can see, the image has been changed. Okay, so now we have completed editing this part of the form. Now here you can see that this form has different pages. So let's say a visitor wants to get this free download and click see yes. It will take them to this page. So let's click here. And as you can see, it asks for the email address. So once they enter it and click get, it will take them to this page. And here you can see the download button, which will let them download the file. So now we need to choose the file which we want to give to our subscribers. So first let's see the file. So here it is. So let's say this is the PDF file which you have prepared. Now to add this file to this button, you need to enter the download link of the file here. So to get the download link, we need to first upload this file to our WordPress website. So to upload the file, let's go to WordPress and then go to Media. Now drag and drop the file from your computer. and it will be uploaded. Now to get the download link of this file, let's click here. And here you can see the download link. Now to add this link to our button, first let's copy this link. And let's go to convert full. And then paste the link here. Okay, so now we have successfully added the file to this button. And we have completed editing this form. So once you have edited your form, next you need to choose when you want to display this form. So to choose that, let's go to display rules. Now previously we selected this option where the form will appear when a visitor scrolls down. Now if you want to display your form when a visitor tries to leave your website, you can choose this option. So once you have selected when you want to display the form, to add this form to your website, just click save changes and then activate the form. So now the form will be active. So now if we go to our site and click refresh and now if we try to leave the site, you can see that our free ebook form appears. And now if a visitor clicks yes, it'll ask them for their email address. And once they enter it and click get, they'll be subscribed and they'll be able to download the file. So now if the visitor clicks here, they can now see the ebook. So this is how you can add a form to your site with a free download.
So now you know how you can get more subscribers to your website. Now you can also create more types of forms with Convertful. For example, you can create a form with an interesting game like this, where if a visitor enters their email address and clicks try, it'll spin the wheel and give them a coupon code. And you can also create a form like this, where your visitors need to subscribe in order to view a part of your content. And while creating your form, you can also add a countdown timer like this and encourage more people to subscribe. So you can make use of these features while using Convertful for free. So that's it guys. This is how you can add an email subscription form to your WordPress website. Now, if you're ready to add the form to your website, just click here and it'll take you to the page where you can create your form. And if you want to learn how to create an e-commerce website, you can watch this video. So also make sure you subscribe to Website Learners to get more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.